What's up everybody, if you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grow It, and you're watching my extras channel. This is the Grow Star 600 Watt Cobb LED Grow Light. I purchased this Grow Light off of Amazon at a discount, and in this video I am going to unbox the unit and also test the power output. First thing out of the box is the user manual. It has a ton of information about the grow light. It has some various safety information, uses, suggestions, specifications about the light, and warranty terms. Next is a wire hanging kit, one rope ratchet hanger, a power cord, which is six feet in length, three reflector cups, which go over the three Cobb LEDs. The Cobb LEDs on this grow light are Bridge Lux and Epple LEDs, and they are 200 watts each. I won't be going over all of the features on this LED grill light, but I will provide a link in the description section below so you can learn more. For the part test, I'm going to use the Apogee MQ500 PAR meter. This meter measures from 389 nanometers to 692 nanometers, plus or minus 5 nanometers, and the measurements are taken in PPFD. I say this in every video, but this is just to give you a general idea of what the PAR output is. It's not going to be 100% accurate. The reflective walls in the grow tent could increase the numbers. According to the listing for this LED grow light, it has a core coverage of 3.9 feet by 5.8 feet, which must be wrong. This grow light is a better fit for a two foot by four foot grow space, and I've placed this grow light in a two foot by four foot grow tent. I'll be taking measurements at 12 inches away, 18 inches away, and 24 inches away. Just like all the other part test videos I do, I will let the measurements do the talking.
What do you think about these measurements? Let me know in the comment section below. Again, I have provided a link to this grow light in the description section below, and I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.